<laughs> All right, guys, we're back. And we have our next uh, nonprofit, Community Co Connections for Children, getting settled in here. But we just took a huge jump in donors, 3,324 donors. Uh, I agree, Coats of Friendship, an impressive mission. So real quick, if you are uh, following along on social media, if you're waiting for your favorite organization uh, to come on this live stream, please drop some uh, comments in the comment section on Facebook. I would love to hear from you. Chris would love to hear from you. There are uh, thousands of you out there making donations as we speak, as we get close to the $900,000 mark with just shy of 6,000 gifts to 322 organizations. One of those organizations that I'm excited to hear more about, a five-year participant, Community Connections for Children. How are y'all doing today? We're doing great, how are you? I'm okay. Um, Chris, can you hear them all right? Now that you have the headphones on? Say something else, good morning, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, if you just wanna keep the mic a little closer to you, you'd be great. Okay. Thank you. All right, so uh, first, before we dive into how Give Local is uh, impactful for your organization, can you just tell us a little bit about yourselves? Sure, so Community Connections for Children, and we used to be called Child Care Consultants, helps low-income working families pay for child care, and we help improve the quality of child care all throughout the county with Head Start, Pre-K Counts, um, regular child care programs, and faith-based programs. So talk to us about um, the name change, and th that's new for 2023, right? right? Right, so we ourselves don't watch children, so the child care part of our name confused people. Um, and really what we're about is making connections to support children. So we work with school districts, businesses, nonprofits, uh, employers to help families so that they can go to work and their children can have high quality child care so they can be successful in school and life. Awesome. Well, we appreciate all that you do for the community. And uh, as I said, you've been participating in Give Local York for five years now. Can you talk a little bit? about um, how impactful today is, <clears throat> maybe not just even from a dollar standpoint, but um, just interacting with the other nonprofits and having this platform here. Woo! Absolutely. Woo! Um, so we've woo! had several successful campaigns. In we the got a woo, which means that we hit an, a new $100,000 mark. So we are just over the $900,000. Woo. All right. Awesome. Fantastic. Yeah. So um, we've had several successful campaigns um, supporting um, specific programs within our organization, um, helping parents become better educators for their children, as well as getting more quality child care uh, opportunities out there for children. Um, and we um, the visibility part is huge. Just yeah. having our name out there and sharing what we do. And it, when we were child care consultants, you know, that better understanding that we're not caregivers, but we are supporting those who do. And um, then uh, just keeping uh, the, the presence alive and the community, the connection with the other nonprofit yeah. community. Awesome. Are there any, uh, is there anything specific programmatically that you're funding this year with Give Local York? Yeah, so our two big uh, programs are Parents as Teachers, again, helping parents be better educators for their children, and then our Connections to Caregiving program, um, which helps uh, individuals start a child care business. Um, and so helping them with the business aspect and uh, making sure that they have quality practices in place um, so children have a safe place to go. That is awesome. Well, and, and how did you appreciate the 9 p.m. start versus the midnight start? Did that go well for you guys? Um, well, we've had success at the midnight start, yeah. but the 9 p.m. just made it a little, maybe a little bit easier <laughs> this year. Um, so we're uh, you know interested to see how that uh, hour change plays out throughout the entire campaign. Awesome. So if folks want to learn more about you, of course, my first recommendation is to go to Give Local York dot org search for if you just start searching for community community connections for children is gonna is gonna show up certainly make that donation but if they want to learn more about you uh, how can they find out more information about your organization um, you can visit our website uh, www.ccc4pa.org that's f-o-r-p-a.org um, and then on social media just search community connections for children or ccc4pa and you'll be able to stay up on all the latest and greatest Awesome. Well, thank you all for uh, everything that you do. I love the new name. I love the new logo. I think it absolutely speaks to, to what you do, and I wish you great success and good luck today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, guys.